I'm a first generation dairy farmer, having um, started farming in my own right in the last five years. We moved to Whitegate Farm two and a half years ago, which was a redundant pig unit. And since then, we've put in 110 acres of um, grass forage, maize and lucerne, of which all of which is used for the cows. I milk 35 Guernseys, of which all the milk gets turned into cheese. We currently make around 18 to 20 tonnes of cheese a year, and it's sold through farmers markets, and um, about 90% of it is sold through wholesale. Some of the wholesale markets get transferred to Guernsey Island, and from Guernsey it's taken over to Northern Europe and distributed throughout um, Holland and Belgium and into Germany. All our forage is homegrown, including maize, lucerne, grass silage. We tend to take between three and four cuts a year of silage. Um, all the cows are buffer fed for 11 months of the year in order to keep good quality grass in front of the cows. We have a small shop on the farm which we tend to get between 30 and 40 customers a week come through but then on Open Farm Sunday we tend to attract between 12 and 1500 visitors. We also open up the farm to um, the WI and the Rotary where we come in and do different talks and evening meetings and uh, youth clubs also where we give them a tour of the milking facilities talking about the cows and our ethos behind um, the whole cow welfare. Um, we're Freedom Food certified and we also operate on a very high welfare and, how, and high cow friendly system. I came to Rough Crowns Farm five years ago, um, moving from a small farm across road. It's on the same estate as the last farm. And when we moved here, uh, the outgoing tenant had, had a disagreement with the landlord and uh, the farm was in quite a bad state of repair, which we've had to put um, quite a few new buildings and new parlour and new cubicles in. We're milking at present 135 cows um, and in total there's uh, 380 with all the young stock and beef cattle. We've, we've always had short horns and Frisians and Allsteins and we've done quite a bit of blending um, and crossbreeding with Swedish Reds and Frisians and Allsteins. Um, the breeding has taken quite a pure basis, we've used quite a lot of pure bred bulls but uh, with limited semen available we've had to start using a few more blended bulls again, uh, Swedish Red and Allsteins. Uh, we're in the process of looking for some more land and uh, if we get that we'll be erecting a few more buildings to take the farm forward. Uh, over the last uh, eight years we've taken our dairy herd of 100 cows up to 200 cows uh, through our own home breeding. Uh, I've taken care of all the AI foot trimming and dairy care of the herd. Uh, most recently we've been increasing the dairy yields through the purchase of a mixer wagon and changing our homegrown forages to accommodate uh, lupins and triticale into the dietary mix. Uh, we've been using a nutritionist from Biotel and adding a diet which gave a significant uh, rise in milk yields. We've taken yields from uh, 7,000 litres eight years ago up to 9,700 litres on the last recordings this month. Um, our target is 10,000 litres and uh, we feel that probably in four or five months time we'll meet this target. Uh, we're currently changing a lot of things on the farm. We've installed a new milking parlour, which is about two, uh, two months away from being uh, operational. We've got a 1616 at the moment, and it will be a 32-32 Delaval milking parlour to save a lot of time and hopefully automate and uh, collect information for the dairy herd to be used, such as activity, auto identification so the feed to yield will be done automatically all the activity of the dairy herd will be monitored so cows requiring AI or uh, veterinary visits will be flagged up on the central computer and automatically sorted uh, at each milking point twice a day. Uh, we, we graze uh, our cows in, in two herds we have a main gang which graze night and day uh, they also receive a buffer 
during the, uh, the milking period, morning and night, to keep their yield consistent. The high yielders graze during the daytime uh, and are housed at night. This is a new uh, thing for the farm we started two years ago. This has helped to steady the high yielders yields and to achieve uh, getting the cows back in calf as and when we require at two to three months post-calving.